Over the past decade, Calgary has been one of the fastest growing cities in North America. Despite the constant influx of people, Calgary has managed to maintain one of the highest allocations of green space of any city on the continent. These natural areas allow for urban wildlife, and birds in particular, to thrive in this city. My name is Ryan Wilkes, I'm a wildlife filmmaker, and today we're going to be exploring one of Calgary's largest parks, Weaselhead Flats, and get to know some of the incredible birds that call the area home. This 600-acre park along the Elbow River sits just west of the Glenmore Reservoir and has an abundance of biodiversity. Many local naturalists and birders frequent the area due to the wide array of avian life that call the Weaselhead home. However, most visitors to the park are unaware of the hundreds of bird species that are literally right under their noses. Every spring, this bridge that crosses the Elbow River becomes a bustling, temporary home for a mass of rowdy guests. After spending the Canadian winter in South America, these cliff swallows return to Canada in the spring to nest and have their chicks. This pedestrian bridge in the middle of the park serves as a nesting site for hundreds of these birds. Every day is a frenzy as they make dozens of trips between the bridge and the riverbank to drink, feed, and collect mud for building their nests. One adult stays in the nest to protect it from opportunistic mud-stealing neighbors, while the other goes to the shore to collect more building material. More mud means a sturdier nest and a better chance of survival for their young. Although there is good teamwork when it comes to building the nest, while on the riverbank, it is every bird for themselves. This is a chance for the males to sneakily mate with other busy, mud-gathering females. The females flutter their wings above their heads to deter surprise attacks from other males. But it doesn't always work. This strategy ensures the fittest males will have many offspring, which means the cliff swallows can keep returning to Calgary to breed year after year. Further upstream, in a much quieter area of the park, lies a small ravine where many species of bird pause to view their surroundings, monitor for predators, and to make calls to their neighbors. Frequent visitors in the summer include goldfinch, rough-winged swallow, gray catbird, pine siskin, and the vibrant yellow warbler. But one species has an extra special attachment to this tree. The northern flicker is a member of the woodpecker family. These birds have two distinct color variations. Red-shafted flickers are more common in western North America, and yellow-shafted in the east. Calgary lies in a region where the two variants interbreed, resulting in a mixture of vibrant colors, such as those that you see here in this male. He is distinguishable from the female by his red mustache, and it's his turn to go check on their nest in a cavity further down the tree. The monogamous pair have been very busy mating this spring, so it's important that the nest is ready for when she is prepared to lay her eggs. Northern flickers are year-round residents of Calgary and their range extends all the way from Nicaragua in the south to the Yukon Territory in the north, making them the most widespread woodpecker in North America.
There are approximately 690 natural areas in the city, which make up over 50% of the total park space in Calgary. In 2021, Nature Canada named Calgary as one of only four bird-friendly cities in the country due to the city's dedication to protecting biodiversity. The city of Calgary has put a special protection program in place to preserve wildlife in the city's most biodiverse areas. Parks with this designation include Inglewood Bird Sanctuary, Griffith Woods, and Weaselhead Flats. On the other side of the Elba River lies a meadow that is home to a tiny world record holder. Weighing no more than a ping pong ball, the Calliope hummingbird is North America's smallest bird. Despite their small stature, they are incredibly tough and have been seen valiantly defending their territories from birds as large as red-tailed hawks. Calgary marks the eastern edge of their summer range, and only a few of these birds make the city their summer home before completing their 5,000-mile journey by returning to Mexico in the fall. Making this annual trek across the continent has earned them the title of smallest long-distant migrant bird on Earth. As summer progresses, hot and humid weather triggers a very special event in the forest. When the conditions are just right, hordes of flying ants emerge from multiple colonies at once to mate, and the queens take flight to establish their own colonies. They appear by the thousands, and everyone comes to the smorgasbord for a snack. This hairy woodpecker is the first to begin to fill his belly with ants followed swiftly by the chickadees. This is an important annual event as it provides a feast for dozens of different bird species, including the most prolific anteater of all. Pileated woodpeckers are Canada's largest woodpeckers. They are ant-eating specialists and usually peck deep rectangular holes into trees to get to ants below the surface. These omnivorous birds use the strategy to survive the cold winter months in Calgary, where other food sources are hard to come by. Today, however, they are being treated to a much less labor-intensive feast. This juvenile, only a couple of months old, has never seen a feast quite like this. It will remain under the watchful eye of its mother until the fall, before going out on its own to start a family next year. Calgary's natural areas are home to some of North America's most impressive birds. And the wonderful thing is that they're really accessible. So the next time you're out for a run, bike, or walk in your local park, make sure to keep your eyes and ears open because you never know what you'll stumble upon.